Welcome to Word of the Day with Comedians. I'm your host, Dead Air Dennis Maller, and joining me on the program today is comedian, actor, clubhouse uh, aficionado, and impressionist, Ryan Kilborn. What's happening? Uh, by the way, I know we're recording this. Uh, hi, behind the, the curtain, we're recording this on Super Bowl Sunday because neither of us care about the Super Bowl today because Ryan is a, a Buffalo Bills fan and I yeah. hate sports. So Yeah, Josh Allen, Super Bowl, next several years. <laughs> Uh, so your word of the day today is fastidious. Uh, and I want to make sure I'm pronouncing that right because I went to six years of community college and didn't graduate, so I don't say words right. <laughs> fastidious. 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 Okay. Fastidious is the word, and fastidious means showing extreme care when doing something. Less commonly, it may be used to describe a person who is difficult to please. Uh, and fastidious, uh, hmm. I, before the definition, fastidious to me just sounds like it's a new type of fast food restaurant. Fastidious, that's people that drive in the right-hand lane real fast, sweep, like <laughs> weaving in and out, like, what are you doing going so slow in the slow lane? Like, you fastidious, <laughs> like, go around, stupid. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why you look so passively but ag overtly aggressive? <laughs> this is completely unnecessary. Like, you should just be on the left-hand side. Why are you upset? That's this would be a fun one to do in Miss Hebber. <laughs> like you should not be angry. I'm driving in the appropriate lane and you're just looking at me like, Hey man, why are you following the rules while I'm not? Can't you see I'm trying to drink and drive quickly? <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah, I mean, I am a left lane uh driving the street. I am a le uh, the highway. Uh I am a left lane. Get in it and go. Uh if you're in my way, why i hate you get out of the way if someone comes yeah. up fast behind me i will get out of your way go if you want to wreck your car be my guest you should give me the same clout yeah. to go wreck my own car right and, I, and i'm bo i'm bored with you but like it's also like all right i'm in this lane and i'm going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit i'm gonna get over when i can but i'm not gonna get over if the guy in the right lane is going 20 miles an hour slower it's not my fault you're going 120 behind me. This is not the Autobahn. <laughs> like, I will get over when it's convenient for me, but I'm cruising because I'm on a budget. You're just in a hurry to get nowhere important to, like, whatever, do blow. I don't care. I have kids and a family. I'm not going to get out of your way. I have to stop for everyone, and that doesn't include you. So. Oh, yeah. Whatever. See, I think that's the difference between you and me. Uh, I drive fast, willing to die, because I don't have a family of kids, <laughs> and I just want to get it over with quick. Right. Well, I mean, sometimes I feel that way, too. I'm just like, <laughs> well, let's whatever. I mean, they're probably not to the age of reason, so depending on what you believe, maybe they're innocent and it's okay. I don't know, but... I'm like, what's that, a bridge embankment? This looks fun. We could probably end it. I don't care. It's a beautiful day for whatever. <laughs> Excellent. And that brings us to our fun fact, did you know-ism of the word fastidious. And fastidious comes from the Latin fastium, uh, which also sounds like fastium sounds like the uh, the other type of plutonium that Madame Curry died from. Like she died from fastium. <laughs> or the dumbest source of energy. <laughs> Unobtainium. Unobtainium. Really? That's all you could come up with, James Cameron? From Pandora? Come on, Avatar? You made Giovanni Rabisi say unobtainium like he was some raging a-hole. Like, we need more unobtainium. This is so stupid. We need to get this more of that thing we up. can't obtain because its name is <laughs> unobtained. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, so fastidious comes from Latin fastium, meaning aversion or disgust. Uh, fastidium is believed to be a combination of fastius, meaning arrogance, and tadium, uh, T-A-E-D-I-U-M, irksomeness, or disgust. So this word that means uh, to do things efficiently originally started out as a word that means ugh. I feel like I feel like tadium might be the root of the word taint also. <laughs> like, you know, somebody that's so scrupulous that they're like, nah, you got to really get in there. Hold on. I can't reach it. I don't know. Maybe I just I'm I'm spitballing here. I got a bidet, so I'm obsessed with my undercarriage now. It's all I ever talk about. Hey, you know what? What better way to tell everyone that you have a clean bottom by just dropping hints of yeah, I got a bidet. I got bidet money, so what of it? Yeah. 
Yeah, eight bidets a week, mother suckers. <laughs> like, I don't shower every day, but I definitely clean my undercarriage all the time. <laughs> In keeping all with right. its Latin roots, fastidious once meant haughty, disgusting, or disagreeable. But the word is now most often applied to people who are very meticulous or overly difficult to please or to work, which reflects a demanding or precise attitude. So I love how we've uh, this is, you know, shows the sheer um, growth of words and language that we had a word that meant gross and disgusting. And now it means, hey, you know what? He's just very particular. I like that. I think I feel like um, here's a good example of fastidious <laughs> um, in a way that like you, you have to earn being able to be fastidious because like my wife, I'm very particular about keeping the oil changed in my vehicle. And I usually do that for my wife, but I have handicapped my wife where she doesn't think about that to the point where she let my van get to where it had about <laughs> eight or nine or 10,000 miles on it. Oof. So she went to Meineke and they're like, oh, hey, they're, they're shavings of metal and uh, coolant in with your oil. I think you blew a head gasket. And that's what happened. And so I had to spend $5,700 to get a new engine. And then, and then one day later, we're laying in bed and she goes, hey, what'd you do with that chapstick? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, oh, I'm going to need you to find that. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Are you being overly particular and fastidious about chapstick after you made me spend $6,000 on a new engine for your minivan? You shut your dumb face. I love you. But I forgive her right away because she's the best woman, but she can be fastidious. And that's ridiculous. You can't be like careless and fastidious at the same time because that's hypocritical, like hypofastidiososis. I don't know. We're making stuff up. <laughs> well, that brings us to the point where we should start constructing our sentence since we kind of have someone to make this about because every sentence should be about a person. Uh, and uh, that's where all the best context sentences come from. They're about somebody. So your wife aside, let's think about somebody who has a name of being fastidious. So what is a name, generic name, that would describe someone who is fastidious? Marcus. All right. I like it. Marcus. Okay. Um, so what could Marcus be doing um, that would seem to be fastidious? Which, and again, we're going to go with the modern definition of which means to show extreme care. So what could Marcus be showing extreme care about? Um, could it be his uh, his pet lizard collection? Or maybe the, the placement of the rocks in his weird, I guess, what do you call it? Like, a, it's not an aquarium. It's like a terrarium. solarium or planetarium or so, a terrarium. <laughs> Ooh, I know big words. My name is Dennis, and I like to be condescending to dumb guests. Ooh. In fairness, you haven't seen how badly I spell terrarium. My aquarium is now a terrarium. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to do that with another word. One second, children. Daddy's <laughs> doing something important. Make us food, they said. I'm like, what? It's only 2 o'clock. It's fine. We're going to have a late lunch and a late dinner because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Never have kids. <laughs> All right, everybody. We have officially selected our word of the day. We have defined it. And we have created a sentence using it in context. And to present all that for you is my guest, Ryan. Fastidious means showing extreme care when doing something. <laughs> Less commonly, it may be used to describe a person who is difficult to please, such as Meg. <laughs> Marcus is well known for being very fastidious about the placement of rocks in his mini dinosaur habitat. Sounds like bull <laughs> recreation to look exactly like... The mashed potatoes from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Oh, that's with that Richard Dreyfus guy. <laughs> you remember. Lois, come here. We're doing a thing about the thing with Dreyfus. Yeah, I know you like him. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. All right, everybody. We have officially expanded our vocabulary by one more word today. I want to thank all of you for watching. And, of course, if you use today's word of the day, fastidious, in or out of context, please tell me all about it in the comments. And I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And thank you to my guest, Ryan Kilborn, for joining us. And please tell everyone where they can find you. You can find me at vikingvoiceover.com. Excellent. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. And don't forget to word up. Word up. <laughs> Bye.